In this lesson, we're going to limit the movement of the head control layer by using the next expression, which is the third file, head control limits and lip sync. Let's double click on it. Very good. Now for this requirement, let's meet the requirements. Have rotation distance sets set for effect head turn slider. Okay, let's play with that a little bit. If I bring the head turn, this had let me bring out the expression. This had a rotation distance of 5. What does that mean? Let me explain you real quick what that number does. If I put that number to be, for example, 1, this is what is going to happen. I have a less of a distance for the rotation. So if I move this layer very, very little, he rotates his entire head, you see? And if I put, for example, 10, then I have more distance to make his head turn, you see? And the number that I like is 5. Because in here, the chin is always with the object, you see? with this controller. Okay, so let's say we decide for that 5. Okay, that's that's okay, I'm done with this. Now, this layer should be showing which layer? Well, the head control. Let's make sure we are on this head control. Should be showing audio amplitude slider. Okay, let's show that. How do I do that? Well, audio amplitude just double click on it actually what happens yeah yes there you go and I don't need the head turn that's the audio amplitude okay I think I'm done now let's put the expression for position oh wait this is a reminder don't use this expression until you have the head turn set now the requirements of that rotation distance yes it's five now Let's test values by having this layer move to the desired limits in X and Y. Okay, let's do that. We're going to, this is means and max, minimum quantities and maximum. Okay, it means the max amount of X that I'm going to give, the range, for example, in here, I'm seeing this rotation. When this rotation gets to zero, that means that the animation for the head turn is in the first layer. So right now it's minus six. That's not something I want. I want it to bring to zero. So I'm going to use the arrow keys. Actually, if you hold shift, you can go. Okay, that's minus one, da, 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 zero. That's the first limit, zero. So the first limit for the position, uh, whoa, 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 I want to bring the position, shift P. It's minus 10. So I'm going to go ahead and put here minus, minus 10. Okay, now let's get the maximum. Let's get this number to be 100 exactly. Okay, I'm dragging it. 85. That's 98. I'm going to use the arrow keys, 99, that's it, 100. And the position for that is 490. Okay, let's put the maximum is 490. There you go. Now, these two values are for you to decide. That is going to limit the movement to how high or how low. For example, if you want to do a magic trick in which you, hey... Well, I don't want that. I want this to go to here. That's the max. If I rotate from there, yeah, it works. I like it there. So that's the maximum Y distance that I want, which is 21. So let's put this. Minimum, it's 21. And max, oh, by the way, the minimum is how high and the maximum is how low, okay? 
Now, how low do I want this to go? Let's say I'm going to decide to here. That's as low as I can go, which is 293. 293. That's it. Now, all I have to do is copy the entire expression and put it in the position where? The position, yes. Position for head control. Head control, position. Let's alt click on the stopwatch and paste. Enter. That's it. Now I have limits. You see? There. Very good. I like it. Every time you put an expression, test it. And finally, this is just an expression that we're going to be using later on. Not right now, but let's put it right now to take advantage of time. You don't have to put any data here. Just copy this and put it on audio amplitude slider for head control. So head control, audio amplitude. Double click. Then bring the slider for audio amplitude. I'll click on the stopwatch and paste. Enter. That's it. We're not going to be using it right now, but we have it ready for when we do the lip sync. Okay, that's it. Very good. Congratulations. Now you have a fully functional control for the head. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Now let's, in the next couple of lessons, we're going to be putting... Uh, don't save. No, no, no. I don't need to save it. We're going to be using one tutorial for each expression. Okay? Okay, see you in the next tutorial.